I think Nancy wants to encourage us and just how good he really is. I do. Um, this has been the last few months I've just really felt to share about um, faith. It's our foundation. Um, so I want to start out with reading a verse that, or a few verses that Kevin read a few weeks ago from 1 Peter 3, 9. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth and a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for, for you who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with inexpressible and glorious joy, for you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Um, also, 1 Corinthians 5, 7 says, we live by faith and not by sight. We all came to Jesus by faith. We had that little measure of faith when we heard the gospel over and over and over again from friends and other people that we came in contact with. And we had a little measure of faith. And then as we began to press in, we hopefully our faith was growing. But as this world is like decaying, our faith is probably being eroded. At least that's what I feel. And I felt like I was stagnant, to be honest with you. I have walked with the Lord almost 40 years. And I think now I can really say I actually have a passion and a fire in my soul just because God's been doing a work. Um, and part of that happened last year. We, it was our third year trying to sell our house. And um, we had the foundation, I mean, the uh, inspections, thank you, um, done. Um, um, and then a couple days later, the... Um, the uh, real estate agent called us and said that the buyers wanted us to get a structural engineer to come and look at some of the um, cracks in our foundation. I'm thinking, it's just settling cracks. What's the big deal? All right, well, we have to sell our house. So the guy came out, and within 15 minutes, we were devastated. Our hopes and dreams of downsizing had been crushed. Um, we have that lovely little foundation issue that the foundations are crumbling and it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to fix. So we, it took us a couple weeks maybe to just kind of get our bearings back, kind of threw us for a little oop. And Craig said, I think we need to sit down and spend time in the Word and pray together. And so we started doing that, and we read the Word, and we read a couple of very good devotionals, Jesus Calling uh, by Sarah Young, and um, I Hear His Whispers by Brian Simmons. Very encouraging. It's, it's like God's talking to you, and then he includes verses, or they include verses. So um, something broke in February. I was praying, and um, the Lord spoke through me. Um, I was praying for our foundation. I said, Lord, it's all on you. You gave us this house, and so <laughs> it's your problem, not mine. I don't have the wherewithal. This is a mountain to us, but not to you. It's a little blip in the, lo in the road. So um, what I was praying was, um, so we're standing still and waiting to see the salvation of God. So I said to Craig after.
Amen. Come on, Nana. That's awesome.